Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make a whisk, a whisk which you can use as a cooking attribute. So before we do that, we click delete and we're going to add mesh circle. We bring it up a little bit and we're going to shrink it by pressing S. Something like this. Later on we're going to restyle it. But now we're going to add mesh bezier. And before we do anything, we go over here and click 2D because I want to be sure that it is only in 2D. Now we move it aside a little bit so that we can see what we are doing. Okay, now we go back to edit mode and you see you have two points. This point and this point. This you, you by right clicking. So right click on that margin and you move it aside like that. But not fully straight and we make it a little larger. Now we're going to enlarge that one right click on that and we're going to move it so what you need is this should be the half of your whisk and if this bend is too much you select that point and you see you can play with it around like you got a good shape I think mine is looking rather okay the only thing that I need is that this point should be a little more flat like that you can make it straight also like this and you get a very sh very nice point that's going around but the only thing I need is this should be a little larger so we're going to enlarge it a little bit like that okay when the shape is okay then we switch to object mode you see this is a correct shape we're going to add curve cylinder and we're going to bring that one aside it's not important where it is the only thing we're going to do is sh we shrink it a lot so we press s and we shrink it as a very narrow circle now what we're going to do is we're going to select again right click on the busy curve and we're going to say over here curve bevel and we're going to use for beveling the busy circle now before we do anything click on fill caps what you're going to see is that this will be closed and the other hole will be closed like this okay now it is looking nice but the diameter is too much so we're going to right click on the circle zoom in a little bit press s and scale it down until we got something like that that should look like one of the legs of your whisk okay when this is okay right click on the whisk press alt c and we switch mesh from curve Okay, when this is done, go over here to Tool, Add Modifier, and use the on the Generate the Mirror tool. And we're going to mirror it around the Y axis, like this. And we're going to merge. Okay, we apply, like that. And we got our first loop. Now, press 3. And what we're going to do now is we're going to press shift d rotate around the x axis so r x we're going to say 60 enter do the same shift d r x minus 60 minus 60 and we come to something like that we're going to do it again shift d r 30 like that shift d r 60 enter and last one shift d r 60 like that okay you can do it another way also and uh, there's another possibility where you're using an array but i think this is the, the much more easy one now what we're going to do before we move anything we're going to select them all so right click on one hold down the shift button and right click on all the others if you got them all you press ctrl g now you join them together now we're going to rotate it around the y-axis so we press r y 90 minus and we have already that okay what we're going to do next is we're going to select the cylinder so right click on the cylinder and we're going to move it to the center of your whisk 
we're going to bring it up a little bit and now we're going to shrink it by pressing s until we have a diameter that's looking okay we bring it down a little bit so this should be the and we go to edit mode and now we're going to enlarge the handle by right clicking on it straighten it out until you got something that look rather nice i think it's something like that go back to object mode and we bring it a little more a little lower okay and i think you've got your whisk now we put to put them both together hold down the shift button right click on that one and press ctrl g and now you join everything together so your whisk is proximately ready what you can do is you could do the same over here where you can put a little ring on it if you want now we're going to give it some material and normally it's gray so what we're going to do is we're going to make it a little like this uh, bring the intensity to maximum okay and we're going to click on it and say material is gray and now we're going to position the camera so to do that we select the camera cursor on the screen press n lock camera view cursor on the screen zero at the numkey path and we're going to rotate it a little bit until you get what you want i'm going to make my looking like this okay we're going to rotate a little bit so press r R to rotate it zoom in a little bit like that all right so it's up to you a little bit where you position it and I think we have what we want like this okay yeah. when it, this is done unlock the camera view over here cursor on the screen zero for the numpath, path and we already positioned that now we position the lamp to bring a lamp in front a little more down like this we're going to press shift D we're going to position them one over here also more like that okay and now we're going to add a plane so add mesh plane we're going to press S to enlarge it a little bit like that Okay, we're going to let it rotate a little bit like that. So we get a nice good looking. And we're going to give it a color. New material, we're going to put a warm color to it. Something like this. It's shiny. Okay. And we going to render it pay attention that your output file is in my case in the temporary file directory sorry and I want a JPEG let's render it okay so if you don't want the shadow you can go over here switch off shadow select the part also and switch off shadow to render it again and you got something like that this is your whisk if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching